All right, guys, welcome to English 101, um, your summer online class. And I'm going to walk through how the course is going to work and what you're going to need, all those materials and everything else. So hold on tight um, and let me walk you through the class. First, let me get rid of myself and make myself smaller. Um, here's the class right here um, without the introductory video because I'm making it right now. Um, let me walk through the syllabus first and then I'm going to show you how all these units work and everything else. Um, and you may have noticed that you guys are in Canvas, and if any of your friends are fortunate or unfortunate enough to be taking a summer class, they're probably in Blackboard. We're kind of um, one of the first classes um, to be offered in Canvas. So it's kind of cool, but I'll, I will ask you to be a little patient as I'm posting all this stuff and getting moved over to Canvas. So this is kind of new to me too. So we'll be doing that. We're going to be working in Canvas throughout the semester, not in Blackboard, and it's kind of cool. Okay, so let me go through this. First thing to do is go into the syllabus right over here. Let me walk you through this and I'll come back to all these all these units and you know what the heck is Plato and Aristotle? What the heck are they doing on the front page? Um, let's go to the syllabus, okay? So you're in um, summer, or you know, we're obviously at Victor Valley College. This is summer 2019. This is English 101 um, and it's English composition and reading. This is essentially freshman composition no matter where you are. At every university throughout the country, they've got some kind of freshman comp. This is the same basic class that you would take if you went to Cal State San Bernardino, UCLA, Harvard. It doesn't matter. It's the same basic class. I took it. Um, don't ask how long ago. Okay. I took the same basic class when I went to college. It's freshman comp. <clears throat> okay. Um, it's four units. Um, there's my name, Joseph Pendleton. I go by Mr. Pendleton or Professor Pendleton. My office is in room to, uh, building 21173. That's the ATC building, um, Advanced Technology Center. Um, and there's my extension, 2604. If you call the college and then punch in 2604, you'll get my phone. Little note, by the way, make sure you pronounce everything clearly. I get a lot of mumble messages, um, and I've got to talk to you. I can't talk to your aunt or your cousin or somebody else. I can't leave any messages with anybody but you. Okay, there's my email. The best way to contact me is through the messaging within Canvas. Um, but if you've got to get a hold of me through my email, there it is. Just make sure you spell my name right. Everybody spells my name wrong. Don't, don't do that. It's just like the Marine Base or like the bottle of whiskey um, or, you know, whatever. Yes, there's a Pendleton whiskey. Um, but anyway, there's, a, there's the course description. English 101 covers the principles and methods of expository writing. What the heck does that mean? I'm going to show you how to write in college. Um, these are going to be the type of skills you're going to learn, whether or not you're taking business classes, um, history classes, sociology classes. It doesn't matter. I'm going to show you the basic tools. And there, you know, a lot of them are kind of formatting. What, did the, what does the essay look like? Some of you are kind of familiar with MLA. Possibly you've heard of APA. <clears throat> Um, I'm going to walk you through that stuff, but I'm also going to really emphasize how to develop these essays and how to do what's called critical thinking. Um, how do you analyze and what's the difference between analysis and opinion? Um, what we're not going to be doing are any personal experience essays. What you did for your summer vacation is nothing because you're in this class. You, uh, Boy, okay, too late now, huh? So this is going to be um, not a personal reflection class, but an analytical class on how to do analysis into various fields of study. What does it mean to analyze plays? And we're going to do that for the first unit. What does it mean to analyze primary sources in history? We're going to be doing that with the second unit. What are civil rights? And that's a poli-sci unit. Um, <clears throat> we're going to be doing that. And then what's art and art aesthetics? We're going to do that with the final one. We're going to get to the nature of critical thinking within these different fields. That's what we're going to be doing. Those are the skills you can carry over into any type of class you're going to take in college. Okay. Even if we don't cover another class, you know, like, I don't know, like we're not going to cover philosophy. We're not going to cover business. You're going to have the skills to go into those classes and know what they're talking about with critical thinking. That's what we're going to do with here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so next thing, the textbook, I've already got some questions on it. Um, kind of a good news situation, but a uh, kind of a lot of fire on you guys. Um, you've got to get this textbook. It's all, it's the only one. The good news is this thing is, is it we're going to, um, and it's here. To, let me show you how to get it. It's called Showa. Okay. And this is what it looks like. There's one cover that's slightly different, but it's Showa. Um, you go to Amazon. It's not available through the college bookstore. I don't think so. And you got to spell Showa right um, and hit enter. S-H-O-A-H. -H. Hit enter. 
and bingo. What it is, is it's the transcripts of a movie what, that we're going to be using for the second unit in the second week. So you've got to order it now, okay? Um, it takes about five days for stuff to arrive from Amazon, and you're going to need it within like eight days, okay? So you've got to order this right away. And uh, my battery already gave out, so I'll fake it for a little bit. And uh, what you're going to need to do is order this right away um, so that you can get it um, and use it during the second unit. And here it is right here. Um, it is available at Amazon. And you can see the price. It's only five bucks. Um, how many times are you going to take a uh, college class and get a five buck textbook? I'm telling you right now, you're not going to get it. Look at that. I can change the battery and conduct a video at the same time. It's You can get it used um, for like next to nothing. Um, yeah, they've got used copies for 95 cents. So what you don't want to do is send me a note and say, I can't afford the textbook. Yes, you can. All you got to do is just beat up your little brother and take his lunch money. No, don't do that. Okay. You can get 95 cents together and order that thing and uh, get it in. Okay, so get it right away. Order it immediately. What you don't want to do is try to get through that first unit without the book and think, I can do it. I'm Superman. No, you're not. Um, um, don't try to do it. Get it ordered. Get it ordered right away. And so you're ready for the second unit when we start that one. Okay. Um, let's get to the next one. The course objectives. Um, just really quickly, um, you're going to be writing college level essays on various modes, including example, narration. We're going to be using all these modes. If you want to go over this later, you can. It's essentially, I'm going to be showing you what things like comparison contrast are, what analysis is, how to get um, appropriate methods for appropriate topics. Um, when do you want to do comparison contrast? When do you want to do an analysis? What All those things. We're going to be doing it. Um, I'm going to make you bulletproof so that you can go on and be, you know, um, basically go on in your college classes and, and you, you can be Batman. Um, you're going to be learning how to summarize, summarize, paraphrase, quote, and synthesize sources. We're going to be doing that throughout. These are all the type of skills you need to write college level essays. Um, we're going to be revising things for clarity, organizations, and mechanical and grammatical correctness. Now, the big thing with that is learning how to use a method where you break things down into stages. You're writing in stages and having a process for your writing. What you're not going to be doing is sitting down and writing an essay. Um, and I'll show you why that's important, because it gets to the way your mind works. Um, and how you um, do a certain number of things at a time. And if you try to do too many things at once, it all comes apart. <clears throat> okay, So we're going to go through stages, why you should do stages so that you can think more clearly and more effectively. Okay, So you're going to demonstrate um, information competency. That's going to be the library assignment. So you don't fall for fake silliness. I, I know they've been talking a lot about what's real and what's fake. Um, <clears throat> And don't get you know hoodwinked by you know websites. I hope most of you guys know that not everything on the internet's true. But how do you tell the difference? Why are certain sources more reliable than others? Okay, and we're going to get into not so much what's true and false, but what's reliable and what's unreliable. Um, it's more on a sliding scale than um, categories um, of true, false. It's more about how reliable something is. Okay, we'll go through that. Um, Documented research paper we're going to do at the end. How do you document things? Um, and read and analyze college level materials. Select, analyze, and evaluate college level materials. We're going to be doing that right from the beginning. Um, what are college level materials in the first place? It's not the easy stuff you can read online. Usually it's the stuff you often have to buy through the bookstore. <clears throat> okay, Or hopefully your teacher gives it to you in a PDF. So, and then the student learning outcomes. This is the stuff you're going to be able to do no problem by the end. This is the research essay, or the basically the two first things, and then the other thing is what we're going to be doing throughout the semester. Format, document, um, integrate sources. That's what you're going to be doing. Then we're going to be getting into the research essay at the end. These are the important dates. Um, today we're starting. Um, then July 4th, that's a holiday. Um, I'm going to be probably racing go-karts with my daughter. Um, I don't know what you're going to be doing, but hopefully it'll be a good day. And then the term ends on the 27th. Um, that's the end of the day, um, or end of the semester. So here are the assignments. This is what everybody wants. And I'll go through the calendar over here. Those are just the important dates. The essays, there's going to be four essays. 
Uh, I'm going to make it worth 600 points, and it really looks like I can't do math because that doesn't break down clearly, but here's how it works. First essay is worth 100 points because you're going to be just learning this stuff, and it's going to be on classical Greek tragedy. So, and you're going to be learning how to write college-level essays. You're not going to get everything right, probably. It's probably going to be a learning experience for you. Um, and so that's worth 100 points. And then the second one's going to be worth 150. In other words, you're going to be a little bit better in the second essay. When we start the history essay on Shoah, you're going to be a little bit better. And so I'm going to increase the points because then you're probably going to earn more points and get a higher grade. And that's that's cool. It makes it better for you. It makes it more likely that you're as you get better throughout the semester, you're going to get rewarded more. Third essay is worth 150 also. Okay, it's a really pretty tough assignment, but you're going to be ready for it. The last essay is worth 200. The last essay is worth twice as much as the first. That's how it adds up to 600 points. Okay, so the four um, four essays of four to six um, pages are due this semester. That's going to be the four units. Um, Antigone is going to be the first one. That's classical Greek tragedy. Um, Show is going to be the second one. That's a, histor a historical essay. The third one's going to be on civil rights. And then the fourth one's going to be on art and aesthetics. So that's how it's going to work. So that's going to be your 600 points. And that's going to be the backbone of your grade. That's two thirds of your grade right there. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and one of the essays may be rewritten during the semester with the new grade replacing the old. Most students aren't able to do that because things move too fast during the summer. So I kind of build it up like that <clears throat> and it works better for most students. Okay. But you do have that as an option. The big thing is do not hand in late work. I don't do late works. I know some of you have nice teachers. I'm not one of them. Um, I don't do late work because I, what I find is it gets students in trouble. Okay, they think the teacher's being nice when the teacher's not. It's just don't do late work. So if you've got a problematic essay, um, use the rewrite on it. Get it in on time um, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, late essays are not good things. So, and my battery ran out again. Okay, so let's do participation. Um, participation is done with the discussion areas. Okay, so the discussions are where you do participate. That's where you can kind of think of it as this is how I take part in the class, how I help out my other students, and how I post really neato things about what we're doing. Um, that's where you're going to do it. Um, it's not done anywhere else. Now, with the discussion boards, what I don't want you to worry about is are things like spelling and everything else. I don't want you to worry about that. Okay. Um, what I want you to worry about in those discussions, and I'll show them to you in a bit, um, <clears throat> what I want you to worry about primarily is that you're thorough. I'm going to be giving you lessons where you summarize the reading. For example, we're going to be summarizing scene one and two from Antigone and analyzing three metaphors that you're going to find. Wow, that's a lot of work, and maybe you're not too great at analyzing metaphors, but you're going to give it a try, and you're going to do your best. That is how it's done. Don't worry about whether or not you did it perfectly or not. The essays are where you're going to do your excellent work, your, your refined work. Your discussions are where you're going to be trying things out and learning. So that's where you can make mistakes, but you want to give a good faith effort. You're going to get the points if you do the good faith effort. Okay. Um, so that's where the discussions are. And I'll walk you, I'll show you to uh, where those are. The quizzes are going to be based on the videos mostly okay the videos in the readings um, show me that you've done the readings and that you follow the basic ideas you're gonna be explaining to me like or answering questions on what metaphors are and you know a few questions about classical Greece and things like that um, and all that kind of stuff that's what the quizzes are at the end of each unit so they're worth 20 points each there's four units so there's gonna be four quizzes and that's 20 points okay Library research assignment, we're going to be doing that towards the end, and that's worth 100 points. If you do the math, that's going to be 900 points. Um, so that's how the class works. Um, and so, can we, or let me see. So, okay, I jumped ahead. So that's all the assignments. The policies, let me just say this. Um, maybe you're kind of new to college, um, but you're not new to the Internet, and we all know that you can, like, contact somebody on the inter interwebs, and they can send you an essay. I have to warn you, I've been teaching now, I've been teaching for 26 years. Back in my day, um, I can catch plagiarism so fast, it's kind of goofy. So don't do it. Don't have somebody write your essays for you or, or anything like that. It's easier to catch than you might think. 
Um, so don't do it. And one thing in cheating, I think you guys know what cheating is. Um, so don't do any of that kind of stuff. The big thing to keep in mind with this class is this is getting you ready for college. If there are some areas that you need to work on and get better at it, this is the time to work on it and get better at it, even if it means getting a C or something like something like that. There's a lot worse things than getting a C, um, like getting caught plagiarizing or cheating. So because I report it to the um, vice president's office and it stays on your transcripts and you get a zero for the assignment. So don't do it. Um, do remember, this is one of the foundational classes as you go on in your college course. Um, just don't do it because you are a good person and you don't want to get known as a bad person. So don't do it. It's easier to catch than you think. Um, and you want to know. You just want to be good at it so you can go on with your college degree and get everything and you want to get your college degree and know that, hey, I didn't do any funny stuff. I, I earned that darn thing. Okay. And attendance. So, okay, enough finger, finger waving and all that kind of stuff. Attendance. Attendance is basically watch the videos, take part in the discussions. That's what it is. Okay. Communication. So that's plan on coming into the class. It's a summer class. Um, I would plan on coming into the class every day to see what announcements and what videos are posted and things like that and what's going on. Um, <clears throat> I would plan on coming in every day and I would plan on working on the class for about three to four hours every day. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Because um, it's a lot of work. Um, summer classes, especially English 101, this thing's four units. I would plan on putting three to four hours in every day on this class to get the readings done, to get the discussions done, to get the essay started, all that stuff, okay? That's your attendance. You're going to be doing it mostly at home, and uh, yeah, you, you, yeah, your summer's gone. So communications. So mostly you can you can call me you can send emails most of the discussions uh, communications are through the camp are through um, the canvas email um, so plan on most of it doing being that way you can call me but you can sh I'll be in my office a lot I I don't have a life so I'll be in my office a lot if you want to see me in person send me a note and I'll be here okay um, or call me or things like that that's how I do it but it's always got to be respectful with me and with other students okay Always be respectful with me and other students. I know I kind of have fun with these videos, but make sure you do understand you're in a college now, you're in a professional setting. Um, it's all about, and I you know, show respect for my students and I expect uh, folks to show it for me and show it for each other. Never be disrespectful to each other, okay? Um, so withdrawal, if basically, if you're coming unglued at any point, um, get out of the class uh, by the first unit. Um, get out of the class by the first unit if you don't think you can make it through the class yet, okay? If summer online classes aren't for you, if you find that out and go, oh my god, this is going to be too much, get out right away because then if you stay in past the first unit, um, most times I'm going to have to give you a grade. Um, and <clears throat> so if not, just keep at it and keep struggling. So that's the withdrawal policy right there. Um, access and accommodations. If you have any physical or learning disability that's going to make things a little bit more interesting, contact me right away. I'll I'll get things set up with you at the access center. Um, but and this is always if it's set up through the access center. You can't just tell me, hey, I've you know I've got a funny twitch in my eyebrow. I can't do the essays. Yeah, I you know I can't do that. But if you've got something where you know we've got things set up with the access center, I'm going to work with them all the time. They're great folks. So um, I'll work with you. So if you've got that, talk to me. So here's just an assessment. Uh, I mean, uh, these are the assignments. I already did these. It comes out to 900 points. It's pretty straightforward. Um, this is pretty boring stuff. And that's how the class basically works. There's, these are the upcoming assignments. Um, so that's how it's going to work, guys. So mostly that's how the course works. Let me go back to the home page and show you how the, I've got it organized. Now, again, I want to emphasize I'm moving over to Canvas myself. I've got some boo-boos and things like that. Um, uh, so this is how it's going to look in the front page, basically for you guys. Um, and here's the first unit. And let me show you the calendar first. And the first unit is going to be on classical Greek tragedy. I'm going to shut these other ones down so you don't get lost in them. Um, the first unit is going to be, and I'm going to go to the calendar, um, is going to be in classical Greek tragedy. And you're going to start reading Antigone. And by tomorrow, you're going to summarize scenes one and two, okay? That's what you want to summarize. You want to summarize scenes one and two. I'll give you till 10 o'clock tomorrow night, and you're going to be analyzing metaphors, three metaphors, and you're going to do that at the discussion area. Then we're going to start on scenes three and four, and then you're going to discuss those at the, um, 
at the message, excuse me, at the discussion board. You're going to summarize them and do the metaphors, and then you're going to do five. And I want you guys to get on that right away. And the first essay is going to be due on Tuesday of next week. That's what we're going to be doing. That's your first unit. And so I'll be posting more on the writing process in the calendar in the coming days, okay? But mostly it's getting Antigone, ordering, I want to emphasize, order show up. Uh, but the Antigone is a PDF I'm going to make available to you. you but get started on Antigone, order show and get going on it, okay? Um, so that's what you're going to be doing from the gun, is getting going on that stuff, okay? Um, let me go back to our home page here. <clears throat> um, so our first unit is Greek tragedy right there. So that's what we're going to be doing. I will be posting video lessons um, here, one at a time. Now I probably won't get six of them up, but I'll get lessons where I walk through things and they're going to be here. Just link to the lessons and you get these really exciting videos. So go through those lessons and then those will walk you through to get you ready for the discussions. Here are the discussions right here. Okay, Discussion number one is going to be on Antigone scene uh, one and two up to line 42, 492. Um, and that's what it's going to be. Um, and then discussion number two, let's get back to that Greek tragedy thing, um, is going to be on you know uh, scene three and four. There it is. Okay. Um, and then here's the readings. This is kind of the cool thing. Um, you get Antigone um, yourself. This is it. And it's on PDF. So it's kind of cool. It, this is the Dudley Fitz and Robert Fitzgerald translation. They did it back in like 1930, even before I was born. So it's pretty scary. But man, it's pretty good. These guys, um, they rock the house when it comes to translating Greek. Um, so that's the first one. And you're going to get through, again, scenes one and two. The problem with this version, this PDF, is that they don't have page numbers. They go by lines. So you're going to go up to line, and you can see the lines right here. And it goes pretty dang fast. So you're going to get up to 492. It doesn't take that long. And that'll get you through scenes one and two. And then you're going to be happy. And I'm telling you, um, Antigone is kind of a kick in the pants. It's this thing was written 2,500 years ago um, by Sophocles, and it's pretty stunning um, for most folks. If you haven't read it before, it's it's quite the experience. So that's what we're doing, folks. Um, so get going on it, um, get moving on it, um, <clears throat> and we'll start going through the videos and through the early lessons. I'm looking forward to trying out Canvas for the first time. I've been teaching online for about 18 years or something like that. And so this is my first time in Canvas, probably your first time, if, unless you've taken classes somewhere else. Um, so I'm looking forward to this. I'll be available. Get going on uh, Antigone. Get your book ordered. Um, and have a good time. And even though you're going to be hanging out with me this summer, <laughs> couldn't be much worse than this. But we're still going to have a good time. I um, plan on working your tails off and um, getting ready for college. This is kind of an adventure, huh? All right. Take care, you guys.